Hey everybody, it's Alika Lifty, and today let's brew our Columbia Aponte Village Honey Process Coffee as a filter offering. Another year, another Aponte. This one is one of my favorites, both on espresso and on filter. It is fruity, floral, sweet, with an excellent texture, really easy to brew. All those things we love about Aponte Village traditionally, Often, I think we get a little bit of like lemon and caramel, some of these classic uh, Colombian notes. This one is more uh, reminiscent of Aponte in days past. There was, I think maybe two years ago, we had Aponte Village that I was like, this is Ozark Copper, um, which was an old espresso blend we had. And this one was really similar. We're gonna get these really nice notes that I'll talk about as we brew. Let's brew on a Kalita Wave 185. We're brewing our standard Cafe Kalita recipe because we're gonna plug this into our cafes probably around the springtime. So I've already pre wet my filter because I'm in a new location and I didn't want to dump water on the floor. Um, 25 grams of coffee. This is ground medium fine for drip. Uh, this is gonna be at around uh, 11 on your Barazza Encore and around 21 on your Commandante C40. So 25 grams of coffee, and we're gonna be brewing with 400 mils of 205 degree Fahrenheit water in six total pours. Let's get our scale teared. Timer ready, and let's brew. All right, first we're gonna bloom 50 grams of our hot water. Saturate the grounds, get everything ready to extract. Let this rest for 30 seconds, and at 30 seconds, I'm gonna hit this really heavy in the middle, spiral outwards evenly, and reach 160 grams total. Now with this fellow kettle, that's gonna be about as heavy as this will let me pour. Drop in heavy. Takes me about five circles to get that. And I want that to occur before 40 seconds. Because at 45, I'm gonna hit this again. This time, up to 220. And now we have a little bit of leeway. I'm trying to maintain this tall column of water. So I can see where the top level of my coffee was. And whenever I have about a pinky's width in there here at 105, I'm going to do it again. Up to 280. So dropping in the middle, agitating the brew bed, and then touching the coffee evenly and pushing any grounds that are stuck in these waves back down into the paper. Now here at 130, I'm gonna hit it again up to 340. And I'm gonna finish this off at around a minute 50 to a minute 55, all the way up to 400 mils total. Have a nice steady flow rate here. I'm gonna finish this at 155. And I'm pouring all the way up to 400 grams total. go. All right. So I mentioned this coffee is reminiscent of a Ponte past or even espresso past. We get this nice note of cherry, the sweet, um, developed sugary confectionery, almost floral honey. And we're going to get chocolate malt and papaya, a nice depth of these like red ish flavors in there. Um, and uh, that floral honey, just really nice and tied together with this slightly, it's not super bitter, I think, you know, like the aftertaste of Whoppers, this like chocolate malt experience that you're gonna get in here. Nice structured coffee. Um, and this played really well in espresso as well, but our standard Kalita recipe, I really love. I'm pretty sure I used a V60 recipe last time. Um, if you want to do a V60 or a cone filter with this recipe, instead of spiraling outwards, you're gonna stick most of these pours here in the middle, having your break, that big one, and your last pour be spirals to touch all the coffee. So 
we can adapt this recipe to different things. Um, you know, this is a classic Colombian coffee. It's going to drain pretty much at the default time for this recipe, which is three minutes and 30 seconds. All right, serve. 